Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I want to share about uh, taking naps. I personally think that uh, we should take lots of naps throughout the days. I find that in the way society is, um, when we work in eight hours, ten hours a day, and we're so busy doing so many things, uh, there is really no time to clear those thought process. And when I say clear the thought process, I'm referring to level of conditions, maybe their stress level, um, the way the clarity. Um, we can clear a lot of clarity through taking naps. And this dive into dreams. Um, every time I take naps, I dream. And dreams allow me to understand more of what's going on in my subconscious mind. And not just necessarily the subconscious mind. And the way I think, how I think, and how I feel. So... Nap is very important. So if you are ha working in a day where you don't have a time to take naps, that's a little bit different. Then uh, normally uh, when you get home, of course, uh, you should take naps. Take a little short naps and that will help clear the energy, clear the thoughts and emotion that w everything is so busy of constantly doing. And then we'll, we live in the conditions. We're always in the conditions. Uh, when I say condition, it's not a bad thing. It is a condition that we want those good habits and good routines and good conditions to help us um, move move along the the work, the daily day to day um, busyness. So that way we have a good positive mindset. We have a good emotions, and of course, um, navigating through the the thought process, we do have to look into those negative aspects and uh, not necessarily always a good aspect. But we want to program our mind to have those positive conditions. And a lot of time uh, I find myself when I am in good conditions, I'm creating, I'm always creating, have a flow of energy, have a flow of clarity, have a flow of thought process, then I'm, all, I'm constantly creating things. And then certainly, um, I'm just doing it. I'm in these routines and then it's no longer become conditioned that I'm actually overusing the mind, that I'm into my mind. I'm forcing my mind to do something Then I actually not flowing. Once I'm able, able to recognize it, then I take naps. I take breaks. I take a day off. Uh, those are things that a lot of us don't have an opportunities if we are busy working 40, 60 hours a week. But there is a, a way that we can come into, come back into the gentleness of if you get off work, first thing, I know we have so many uh, things we have to take care of. We'll take care of kids, family, everything. But I'm speaking of something that I choose to do is self-realizations. I need to pour back into myself to understand who I am. And that is we'll have to break routines. We'll have to break conditions. And one of the most easiest way and the best way is to take a nap. You know, if you get off work tired, you're gonna fall asleep anyway. You won't, you don't want to do anything, but take little naps. Set the alarm, and when you wake up, you should be able to release and clear and feel. Even speaking that right now, I know I can take a break. I can just come back to the self. I'm okay to be gentle to myself and to relax and understand. Let this energy, let this emotion, the thought process to kind of settle down, settle down. So I will speak more about the uh, naps and leads to dream state. There's three points and three amazing, powerful things that I understood with dreams, especially with naps. I dream every single nap I take. And I find that over the years that I actually able to allow it is the subconscious mind or the conscious mind or the emotion throughout the last few days, um, weeks, or hours that led up to show up in my dreams. And those naps helped me release it, helped me settle those energy, and helped me remove all those, uh, use the word stress level. It's not stress, but the they high energy that is too much into the mind. So, of course, we want to live in a heart space. How do we live in a heart space? The heart is very intelligent. It has its own mind, the heart mind but it's not the physical heart, but and, uh, the energetic heart that is uh, connected to your intuitions and your emotions. So those are very intelligent. To pay attention to those, 
they show up um, when we take nap, when we rest. So right now, um, if you're f watching this, uh, if you stop when you finish this, drink water, rest, take a nap, and then come back to it. Come back to what you are doing. There is, um, there is no time and space, but in the reality, there's always time. The time is condition that been uh, controlling us. So naps allow us to break those conditions. Number one, the thinking that we need to finish so many things that we're not able to catch up with. So this uh, this will give you ability to also take the time to break those conditions. And then we more live in the more free, coming back more and more free than we are actually going to be in a heart space. And then we just kind of allow the flow of intuitions of the heart and the intelligent mind to guide us. And then we come to create a clearer and more positive um, conditions and doing and create better routines and habits. Hope you like this. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.